Alright, it's time to continue on with some more of Resident Evil Zero. Alright. Let's continue. Are the faint sounds of footsteps of survivors? Who knows? Alright. So this is where I last left off. Now, let's move on. I don't think there's anything else left to do in this room. See, unless I don't think there is. I don't think there is. All right. Okay, so there's the scale. What does the scale say? There's something written on the base. When good and evil are brought into balance, a new path will be opened before you. Okay, so that's where the statues come in. Okay, so I guess I... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Rebecca, move. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, that takes care of one statue. Now, let's move on. It's locked from the other side. Okay, I'll make a note of that for later. This door, I think, is just locked because I don't have a key. The door is locked, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. The top part is engraved with the image of a... Okay, just like before. Just like with that other... Uh, that other uh, door from the other room. So I guess there's only one spot to go, and that's over here. Let's have a look around. Oh, more ammunition, how nice. What's this? Okay. Ah, birdies! No! Hey, uh, stupid, why don't you help me out? I'll go alone. Okay. Get off of me, you! Jeez. It's a very old fireplace. There's only a small trace of ash left. I wonder. Oh, there's something on the table. Let's see what this says. Notice to all staff. This document is very old. Much of the writing is illegible. Regular meetings of the vaccine research and infectious agent teams will be held. Both meetings are security level five and will be held in the following locations. First floor, West Operations Control Room. Second floor, Southeast Meeting Room. The entry code shall be 815. Thank you. Okay, so that's something we're going to have to look into later. This way. Roger. Okay, so I guess that's it for that room. Now we have to go in here. Okay, so I was here before. But what was I doing? Hang on, let me delete the map. Okay, yeah, that's right. Let's see. So my next objective is to figure out where to use this crank. And I also have to look for a clock. 
because that'll be the code. Because what that ledger said was the time was 8.15 and that is the access code. I wish I didn't overlook anything. I think this is... Let's take a look. The way is one. Hmm. Okay, now we have to figure out somewhere how to shut off the steam. And I'm certain you can use the crank here. Ooh, that burns. I think it's here. Burning yourself, dude. Jesus Christ. And the one thing I don't get is why don't you just crawl? I mean, it doesn't look that hot. Hmm. Like I said, there's, there is a way to shut off this uh, steam. I don't know if it's. This is it. What's that on the wall? Is there a ledger? I can read? No? It looks like a fire extinguisher, but it's so old that it's of no use now. Looks like another ledger on the wall, but you can't read it. I'm trying to think. Unless I missed something in that room back upstairs. Like I said, I have to find a clock now. That'll open the door. Or maybe... Or maybe it's the clock doors themselves. That'll open it. I'll have to see. Oh boy, more of these little uh, buggers. Uh, Becky, why aren't you shooting? You know what? We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to trade you some ammo. Of course, not all of it. If you want to be greedy about it. Yeah. Yeah, you are such a terrible partner. Get out of my way, jerk. She has the shotgun, but I'm going to save it later. All right, Let's so split up. Okay. Come on. Okay. I 
think of it. I'm gonna take a look at that lighter. So it needs fuel. Hmm. I thought I could have sworn. Oh, here's the fuel. Let's leave an herb behind. Leave this for now. Let's see what I can do with the gasoline. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look at this. It's filled with gasoline. Oh yeah, that's super informative. So I guess we're gonna have to leave this behind again. Hi, Bay. Because I think you can use it with a bottle, like I said before, to make Molotov cocktails. We're gonna take the herbal mix, though. search for is a clock. The rain seems to be lit up, but the sky is still covered with dark, ominous clouds. Oh, that's nice. Take a look at this crank handle here. Okay, so there's got to be a. Okay, so there's got to be something that's missing a crank. What's it? I'm trying to think where though. Is it back outside? On this floor? Through the conference room? See. Oh, wait a minute. There's this door right here, too. Hello. value to it, but whatever. So I wonder when I get to, uh, find some fuel for my lighter. Unless that's later. A collection of female statues. There doesn't seem to be anything special about them. It's locked. The doors. The fire motif. Alright, so we're gonna need a fire key for that. See, 
Okay, good. So it's the training facility map. Cool. Oh, what do we have over here? Why can I carry this item now? Oh, my inventory's full. Darn it. I'll take the ink ribbon, though. Someone has evidently used this computer recently. It doesn't seem to be working anymore, though. But that card I really need. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Time to do something extremely funny. Come on, uh. Oh, wait, it's not here. Never mind. All right. Although, I do want to take a look at this bookcase, though. Hmm. The bookshelf contains a wide selection of books. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest. How, uh... It's a winch control for a lift. There's a square-shaped hole in the panel. All right, so... I'll go alone. Roger. Okay, so we're gonna have to... position the person... here. You go here. Rebecca, you're on your own from here. He's probably thinking, hey, uh, don't go be dying on me, all right? Shotgun treatment, pal. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got over here. Okay, that's of no use. It's a solidly built clock. The minute hand is missing from the dial. Okay, so that's the next item we need is a minute hand. We have to leave some. We can't take any of these items. What does this say? Oh, no trespassing. Okay. So, where am I? So, I'm on the third floor, and I gotta get back to the second. Uh. Good birdie! So I have room for something else. Or should I, uh... Anything of use? No. Alright. Yeah, I don't think I can push this as of yet. And I'm gonna have to leave these herbs behind. But I will take that first, spray, first aid spray, though. I was back in the previous room.
seems to have broken down on its way up. It's no longer of any use. Oh boy. All right, Rebecca, you're on your own once again. <laughs> Good luck. You're gonna need it. from winding the chain. Start the machine. There's no way for Rebecca to move it. Oh yeah, only Billy can. Okay, there's a cage. Okay, so that's something for later. I'll have to make a note of that. So, like I said, there's nothing of interest in here for now, but there is again, but there will be later. Of course, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. So there you go. Oh, yeah, let's head downstairs. Perfect, so she's not gonna go get Billy now. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'm gonna go get him. Time. Come on. Yeah. All right, let's go. But I still need this key card, though. Oh, but he can carry it, though. Cool. Might as well do that. Microfilm. Okay, I thought it was a key card. Oh, I do know at some point I am going to need to use this. What's this say? The old man is holding a candle in his hand. This light will guide you to a greater truth. Hmm. Okay, so that's something I'm... Okay, so that's something to look into later. Insert this film into a projector to view its contents. All right. And I think if I remember correctly, there was a projector in the conference room. If I remember right. I think. Right, anyways, let's get out of here. Guess where else would there be a projector? Let's see here. Usually should be at the very 
front. Security system is locked. Please insert system disk. Okay, so that's another item we're going to need for later. Alright, well. Before I get too far ahead of myself, uh, let's save. in the conference room, but I don't know where. Hang on, let me go back. Maybe I overlooked something. There's a projector in this room. Unless... Maybe some other time. But anyways, we'll worry about that when the time comes. As of right now, we gotta go back to that one room that, uh... Rebecca managed to unlock... Third time's the charm. We're gonna do this one more time. And hurry up, will ya? I can't hold this up forever. I need to. Well, like I said, there's plenty of healing herbs in another room, so using a first aid spray will not hurt. Alright. Huh? Oh my god! What is that? Uh, nice buggy! Nice buggy! Um, help? Aw, oh, I just wanted to give you a hug. It's my girl. So stay away from her. Ah, Billy! This is going to take a lot more than just a can of Ray to get rid of him. Help me! Ah. 
Where is she? Oh, she's still there. Okay, I bet. I'm coming, Rebecca! Um, just give me a minute! is that she had a shotgun the whole time, so why didn't she shoot it herself? Yeah, that's the one thing that puzzles me. Alright, now that we got the key, now we can start opening those fire doors. Yeah, the fire motif doors, that is. But first, we gotta go back, because there's a couple of items I missed. Although I still say that ammo should be split up between those two, but yeah, he has no room. Perfect. Okay, it looks like we're not going to be able to do this until maybe later. Okay, that's not a problem. Like I said, we're going to leave these herbs behind for now. Because he can take the handgun ammo. These gears must be part of the big clock. There doesn't seem to be anything special about them. Alright. We can actually split these items up. Oh, my, here we go. Combine. I don't know. Because I did it in the last stream. I'm trying to figure out how to, uh. Yeah. I don't know, wait a minute. I did want to do this. Because what I want her to do is actually reload. Pistol. Perfect. I could have sworn you can actually split this up, but whatever. Alright, let's go. Yeah, there's a broken elevator. Well, got what I want. Let's move on. And if Rebecca needs any, uh... And if Rebecca needs any handgun ammo, I'm sure Billy wouldn't mind sharing with her. room, but I don't know if they'd be of anything of use. Nice job! Blast those buggies to bits! Oh, there's a grenade launcher in this room, but, uh... It's locked. The door's embedded with a water motif. Okay, so... That's another item we're gonna need. These paintings aren't even packed in boxes. They're just stacked here haphazardly. She's gonna take the shotgun shells. But we're gonna leave the grenade launcher behind. Wait, what did that say? The painting depicts an, an aristocratic lady. 
the painter has accentuated her sense of nobility. Yeah, we're gonna leave the grenade launcher behind for now. Let's... Oh, here's the clock. Here it is. The grandfather clock appears to be broken. It stopped ticking altogether. So, what time is it then? Because I know it's sure as heck not howdy duty time, I'll give you that. Alright, let's go. Time to start unlocking some fire motif doors. Which I think there's three, I believe. I think there's at least three, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that's. I don't think it's on any of these floors. Nope. So. I think two are. Yeah, because I think there's at least two or three, I believe, on the first floor. what sort of good things await us here. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Okay. That's the item I need. Lighter fluid. There's also a red herb here. And a bottle. Not much else, to be honest with you. Um, let's see here. Well, like I said before, there's still a ton of herbs lying around, so what I want to do is this. A container of lighter fluid. Well, that's real descriptive. Alright, so let's see here. The lighter is full of fuel. I think you can use it, I think it's three times before it goes out. Before it goes empty, I believe. I think it's, it's either three or four times. I'm trying to remember. Let's see here. All right, let's go into the other room now. There's also a clue about oh, using the candle upstairs as well, but I want to get rid of the fire key first. Because there's a statue I gotta get as well. Boy, so much to do in this game. Rather, so much that needs to be done. I think the fire door is over here. Solicitors. Nope, that's not it. There's one other door. Was it upstairs? I'm trying to remember, because I know there's another door that has a fire motif on it. I'm just trying to remember where. Yeah, for grins and giggles, let's head back upstairs, because i got to go up there anyway, so... Friends, giggles of curiosity. Nope, this is the bathroom. Not gonna care right now for that.
Well, actually, this would be a good time to save since I'm here anyways. herbs outside too and that other room goes to cross there it is here's the fire key you don't need to see this key anymore so let's get rid of it good There's a switch here. Flip it. Ooh, shotgun ammo. Books are arranged in no particular order. Some of them have been removed from the shelf. Uh, Billy, do you mind moving? Thanks. something up there. Nope. Can't shoot it. There is something here, though. What is it? Assistant Director's Diary. September 2nd. A useless bunch of trainees, as always. Where does headquarters find these idiots? You don't want to know. We did get a couple of decent ones, though, so I can't complain, I guess. William and Albert. They might have a future. September 25th. Scholar Will. Practical Al. They really are opposites, and they're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them both. October 7th. Got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry between those two. It's the first time since his training facility was built that Director Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. About time. Well, whatever. Orders are orders. I'm going to have them tearing each other's throats. Or, excuse me. I'm going to have them tearing at each other's throats. All right, so. Let's see here, let's flip the switch off again. All right, so. There's something up there. Oh, okay, I think I have to, uh. Uh, Becky, you're gonna have to get out of the way. Uh. Let's split up. Okay. Okay, you're gonna have to stand over there. Cause I gotta move this over. Well. Now we're making some progress here. All right. Come on. Okay. All right. What do we have up here? There seems to be something here. Oh, it's the minute hand. All right. Let's take a look at their inventory. Okay, Billy's got two free space, so he can take it. Take the iron needle. Alright, let's see what this has to say. Could it be some 
Could it be part of some sort of decoration? There's a hole in the base. I still say it's the minute hand, but let's not get ahead of ourselves here until we have proof. Good. We're making, we're making some progress here. Well, I wonder if I can do this. Okay, here we go. There needs to be an open slot here, so we're going to give... Yeah, we're going to split the difference here. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, that's better. Now, now that's how we, uh... You stay here. Yeah. Come on! Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, actually, there is something here. I need to get done since we're in here anyways. Alright, so... There we go. Alright, let's go. Okay, there's some grenade shells in here. See, what's this? Oh yeah, this is the room. <laughs> this is so funny. Like, eh. oh, come on, move. <laughs> she gets it. She's like, yeah, whatever. I don't want to move you anyways. I mean, it takes a big, strong man to move this sort of thing. I mean. Come on, Rebecca. Give up the program. You're a strong girl. Oh, what do we have here? And by the way, doing that does unlock an achievement. So. Candle here. But what do we have here? Good. You cannot carry this item. Oh, because my inventory is full. Well, there's only one thing to do. I'll let Becky carry this one. Book of Good. Let's see here. Let's examine this book. An elegantly bound book entitled Good. It seems unusually heavy for a book of its thickness. Hmm. Let's open the book. Wow, looky there. There's something inside. Angel wings. Okay, so that, like I said, is going to be another item for later. Well, anyways, let's, uh, let's move on up. Out of here, leaving the grenade rounds behind. Because now we gotta take care of that iron needle situation. So it seems we got a long ways to go. Several rooms to uh, traverse. This way. I still say there's a projector. Oh, I think I have to override the safety engagements first before I can view the projector. I think that's how it works. Yeah, 
other statue items in that room, but we're gonna have to come back. is clean, but the bottom is covered in dirt. Probably not suitable for drinking, that's for sure. Alright, here we go. This is where I wanted to be. Who's got the needle? He does. Alright, so he's going to have to run around with the clock. we go. It's a solidly built clock. Move the hand. Yes, turn the minute hand. Or turn to the right. Up the clock doors. Perfect. All right, let's move on. All right, we are making some progress, and how is everyone's inventory doing? Seems to be in decent order here. Let's go. To because there is a I think yep this is the statue right here take the white statue all right a statue in the shape of an angel all right well we all know where this needs to go because we're missing a wing. No. All right, we're going to leave it for now. Because we're missing a wing. All right. Let's see here. Well, one thing we could do is actually go into that newly open room. That's up here. Which is always not a bad place to start. Verse of poetry, the moon bows to the earth, the sw earth swears loyalty to the sun, and the great law of the sun governs all things. 
This itself is the keystone, the pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to the heaven. Looks like we got to microfilm B. And there was something else on the. Oh, yeah, shotgun shells over here. Oh. If she can't, he can. This fire looks like it was only a short while ago. Books lie scattered on the floor. Alright. So now we're making some progress once again. We don't have room for more herbs. One thing she can do, however, is reload the pistol. Or behind again. Now we just gotta go into that other room. Which I believe was on the first floor, I believe. Yeah. And surprisingly, at this point, I still haven't found the projector. There's the projector. Perfect. Oh, more handgun ammo. Goody. There's our projector. Because I always thought it was in the conference room, but it wasn't. Alright, now that he's got both uh, microfilms, let's go take a look. Microphone, if you have some microphone on the screen, yada yada blah blah blah, which I have. So we're gonna start with the A. Use the projector. Let's take a look at B. Okay, so there's something written on the top of the picture of the seats. Take the MO disc. Yes. Microfilm image. An image resulting from overlaying microfilms A and B. Numbers appear on the seats of the conference room. Okay, so. And it's written in hexadecimal format from 0 to F, which in terms is 0 to 15. Because when you hit 16, it's 1 0. Alright, now I gotta go back upstairs. for some stuff? Of course not. Of course not. Okay, here we go. Use 
this here. Now loading. Reading system. Access complete. Release system activated. Please enter the passcode. Zero A. Okay, so there's no input device nearby. Okay, so we're gonna have to go over here. This is zero. Okay, so. Okay, I think we have to activate these at the same time. So let's see here. I have to position one person here. Let's split up. Okay. Okay, so he's fine. Now I gotta move Becky. Let's see here. So this would be F E D C. I believe A is over here. All right. We got more access. Ruby. Follow me. Yeah. Oh wait, he has the uh, ink ribbon, so and this would be a very good time to save. I feel like we're making some really good progress here. Like. All right, perfect. All right. Now let's go in. Oh, I should have stayed in this room. What was I thinking? I should have just stayed in that room because the door was open. Could have gone in there. Gigantic chess pieces in here. And we also got a key. Oh, that's ink ribbon, excuse me. That's okay. We can never have too much ink ribbon. Okay, so let's see here. It's a chess board. The game appears to have an in checkmate. Yep, two rooks. That corner a king like that? Alright, so needs to be done is we gotta move the king down spot and that should do the trick okay so I think it's got to be done in a very specific manner Wait, I can't imagine playing chess with a with chess piece is this big and this heavy be pretty impressive. Billy, get over there. Good. There's the Book of Evil. Cool. Alright. So who's got room in their inventory? Oh, she never does. What was I thinking? Wait, there's something more here. 
Marcus's Diary 1, December 4th. We finally did it. The new virus. We have called it the progenitor, or progenitor, whatever. I want to carry it back and start detailed investigations immediately. March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care, as long as I can continue my research into progenitor. He can do what he likes. If he ends up dead, no skin off my back. August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, but he's becoming intolerably pushy. Dude, leave me alone. I want to do my research. But maybe I can turn this to my advantage. I need a special facility to pro properly explore all this virus's secrets. A place where no one will get in the way. November 30th. Damn, that's Spencer. He came to complain to me again today. He thinks of Progenitor as nothing more than a money-spinning tool. Fool. Hey, I made a rhyme. But if his influence continues to grow, it can only be bad for my research. If I'm to properly develop Progenitor, I must strengthen my own position too. September 19th. At last. I've discovered a way to build a new virus type with Progenitor as a base. Mixing it with leech DNA was the breakthrough I needed. I call this new virus T for Tyrant. October 23rd. It's no good. I can't hope for, re hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only humans can be a prosperous mammalian subject for the experiments. Otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. November 15th. Something seems to suspect some... Or someone seems to suspect something about my experiments. But perhaps it's just my imagination. Have I gone mad? Have I spent so much time into my research that I've lost all sense of reality? Well, if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. Okay. January 13th. At last, they are ready, my wonderful leeches. Though of low intelligence, they will never have the privilege of tasting this sense of joy and satisfaction. Hmm, that's funny. Leeches seem to suck everything. So I think the uh, sense of joy and satisfaction I think might come sooner than he thinks. Anyways, now I can finally move against Spencer. Soon I will control everything. January 31st. The devices I set to protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. Fool. No doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th. Today I again I found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. If that is what they're after, I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Aunt Albert smoke out the pests. Those two are the only ones I trust, apart from my beloved leeches, of course. But Spencer, it wouldn't end here, would it? I will announce T as the next director's meeting and collect my just rewards. Ooh boy, seems like uh, Doctor seems like Marcus is a. Uh... I think calling that I think calling Marcus Looney is just a bit of an understatement. Ugh. There we are. All right, let's go take a look at this book now. An elegantly bound book entitled "Evil." It seems unusually heavy for its for a book of its thickness. Yeah, we already established that with the Book of Good. Open the book. Looky there. There is something inside. Took the black wing. Black stone shaped like a wing. All right. Well, we all know where this is gonna go. But first things first. I want to explore that room. I want to explore here before we move on. Oh, it looks like a dormitory. What do we got here? Blue herbs. The shelf contains various medical tools and drugs. They're all manufactured by Umbrella. To leave something behind. Well, if Rebecca was smart, she would leave the handgun behind, but I don't want her to be defenseless because shotgun ammo is hard to come by. Plus, we're going to be using up the black wings soon. Well, I can always do this. Okay, she'll 
take the black wing. Because I do know I left some herbs behind in another room. One was in the kitchen. I think the other one was in the, uh... What was that other one? Was it in the clock room? I think it was. Let's see here. Yeah. If I remember right. Because what I want to do is I want to create a tricolored herb. But first things first, let's save. Well, actually, let's save downstairs because I'll be closer. And who took the black thing? She did. Perfect. They're perfectly balanced. But we're not gonna go in there as of yet. Like I said, we're not going in there as of yet. Yes, it was. All right. Take the green herb. I'm gonna go downstairs to grab the red herb. So I'm gonna combine these herbs together. I do know there's some herbs over there, but I want to save those because I want to combine those at a later date. Native to this area, it can be used to cure poison, which will be very handy later on. All right, this is what I wanted to do. Perfect. A compound created by combining a green, red, and blue herb. Very impressive. All right, let's move. I feel like we're making some real progress here. And there's one more blue herb upstairs I want to get. Because I want to create two of these mixtures. Although neither of my characters are hurt. Like I 
I said, we are not ready to go through that picture painting as of yet, because there's two more doors I have to explore. Actually, rather two more rooms. It's not this... It's not this sword door here, because I know there's two more. room it was in the other room okay here we go this is what I wanted oh wait a minute he can't uh excerpt duh Perfect. That's exactly what I want. All right. Let's go. I know there was one on the third floor, but where's the other big door? Not explored. I'm trying to remember which door it was. Well, we'll cross paths at that at some point. Just not right now. I want to save first. down there. I think. <sighs> yep, that was the door. Alright, but before I go out there, we're gonna save. Because I'm saving the third floor door for last. say it's a solidly built wired mesh despite its age it shows no signs of decay well, that's that's nice oh what do we have here okay so this is another thing we're gonna have to take care of there's no response looks like it's not getting any power so we're gonna need a battery for this all right so that's our next objective is to find the battery The bridge has collapsed in the middle. Beyond the precipice, you see nothing but pitch darkness. Well, from that perspective, you can see nothing but pitch darkness? Oh, I bet. I 
is he getting interrupted here by solicitors? Anyways. Now we have to go to the third floor now. And it looks like we got some company. Giant cicadas. Well, those aren't cicadas, but they sure are. They sure are just as ugly. No, I'm just kidding. Cicadas are cool. All right, how y'all doing? Okay, so Rebecca's in the uh, caution department. Hmm. Well. One thing she could do is just use the first aid spray, because there's some herbs right out the store, and start making some more combination herbs. of the uh, sword rooms. Excuse me. And of course more handgun ammo, which you never have too many of. here. There's a message carved into the control panel. The three fundamental principles of the Umbrella Corporation. Oh yeah! Um, shoot. What was it? I'm just trying to remember. Because it was early on. Oh yeah, regulation for trainees. Discipline, obedience, unity. Okay. That's the uh, thing right there. Of course, we're going to have to come back later. Alright, come on, Slowpoke, hurry up. We haven't got all day. The door is locked, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. Oh, that's real nice. Okay, so... Okay, so that's the next thing we need to do is find a way... Oh, unless it's part of the generator that I need to uh, operate once again. Because like I said, I need the battery. to catch up. Anyways, let's see here. Where to next? I wonder if I gotta go back outside. Wait a minute, what's this? I 
Because this is the elevator I need. Okay, you guys, that much I can do at this point. Rebecca, out of the way. Yeah, I can't push it from here. Um, okay. I literally have nothing in my inventory that's of use. Because I need to find a water key next. Because that is next to my uh, list of things I need to get done. Let's see here. I didn't see anything. Uh, and let's go back to that sword room. Let's see here. Hope I didn't overlook anything. Three specific items associated with that. Discipline, obedience, unity. Hmm. I also gotta find the battery and the water key. Those are the two important items I need. Okay, so now I think it's the time to go into that picture. Make sure I didn't miss anything or overlook anything. Okay. Hello. How's it going, dude? Oh, what's this over here? Okay, I'm gonna check to make sure neither of my characters got poison because this is where poison comes into play. doors here. This one I don't think we can. Let's double check anyways. It's locked. Perfect. Oh yeah. I want to check and make sure that uh yeah, I want to save this shotgun for like extreme emergencies. Correctional Institute inmates list. Matthews K, deceased. Disposal complete. Midge D, deceased. Disposal complete. Keith W, preserved dead specimen. Savage C, transported to research facilities. Royce M, transported to research facilities. Davis A, preserved dead specimen. Clark A, transported to research facilities. Ellens J, transported to research facilities. Uh, Terrence O, deceased. Disposal complete. Kate A, Transported to Arclay Laboratory. Jerry O. Deceased, disposal complete. And Scott S. Transported to research facilities. Yada yada. The list goes on and on and on and on. So Mitchell F., Carrie T., and Robert A. Transported, transported, and transported. Transported individuals to be deleted from the records. And some more ammo here, which is always nice. All right, let's see what we got here. 
All right, let's do this. All right. Leave behind the handgun for now because I'm going to create another combination of herbs. Because, like I said, you can never have too many herbs. Perfect. Now let's get that handgun back. Not in the not through the door. No, I want my handgun back. What I wanted. All right, let's try this again. Where did I put it? Okay. Uh, Rebecca, did you drop the handgun on purpose and forget where it is? There it is. Okay, good. Phew. And we got ourselves a typewriter. Uh, not yet, because there's more ink ribbon over here. feels like an observation room to me. This feels more like a dungeon. Alright, anyways, let's have a look around. See if anything of use comes about. Oh yeah, there's this, but I want to see if there's any items first. Alright, well, time for us to get separated again. Alright, hang on. Before I get too far ahead of myself. Um do is I'm gonna give I'm gonna give uh Rebecca I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this elsewhere right here's a perfect spot the herbal mix I'm gonna give her some handgun ammo Perfect. In case something goes wrong. Alright. Let's do this. It's a large air vent. Rebecca could probably reach if she stood on Billy's shoulders. Give Rebecca a boost? Why not? I'm almost there. Well, I'm glad I could be of service. Time to go inside. Just don't, don't go dying on me. I want to take you for dinner. All right, so. Got quite a bit of room to explore. Let's see here. Power supply control panel. This panel looks like it controls the electric voltage in the room. Adjust the panel. Let's see what we got in here. Flip it up. No. So from what I understand, it has to be precisely uh, this. So let's see if I flip this up. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Flip it down. I think this has to be down. It has to touch that right there. Oh, so close. Because it looks like it has to be at... If I'm reading this right, it looks like it has to be at 70. 
All right, so let's see here. Um, let's see here. Let's hold this down. So it takes it back to zero. Up. Should I flip that up? I think that's gonna be too much. Eh. Something open or? Oh wait, what's this? Oh, what do we have here? About the power regulator. Due to the recent lightning strike, the power regulator continues to be an operative. It wouldn't really matter about the power, except for the fact that the boiler room equipment is on the same grid. The equipment is so run down. I'll probably have to have it fixed up all the time. If you wish to exit Ripley, set the indicator to 70. Check first though that everything is connected to the chain. Okay, so yep, that's what I figured. It's gotta be set to 70. All right, so let's see here. We can probably put this one up. This one can go up also. Oops, shoot. Okay, that's way too much. Down. Down. Yeah. Shoot. Alright. It's really hard to see these. Okay, so that's 30. So that's 20, give or take. That's 40. Um, that's 10. That should be 50. Okay, so it's got to add up to 70. So it's got to be any combination of a... Uh, See, what did I say? This this was 30, so we can leave that down. That one's 50. Okay, yeah. Up. But it also have to coincide with the uh, down as well, because it can't just be on the nose. Um. So this is a bit of a mathematical equation here. It's more than just a simple case of uh, flipping switches here. You also have to know the numbers as well. Let's see here. We're going to leave this one down. We'll leave this one down as well. But this one we're going to flip up. It takes us to 40. Ooh, so close. Ooh, so very close. Okay, this can go up. This can go up. This one has to go down. And the last one's 50. So. Nailed it. Perfect. All right. Now the steam is off. Good. But someone's you are wasting your time. I 
have already claimed this place for myself, which means you are trespassing. And I am very territorial. <laughs> Something big is about to come, isn't it? Oh, good, monkeys. against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Uh, oh. I can't. Hold on. Oh. Now it's a race against time for, uh, Rebecca. Or rather, in this case, Billy. I'm coming! If we understand, if we run out of time, she's dead and the game's over. Out of my way, you ball monkey. Get out of my way! Back off of me, you stupid monkey! Get off him! Get off me! No time to <laughs> monkey around. Where? Is she in the monitor room? I think she is. Get off of me, you stupid! Yeah, squish your head. Squishy, squishy! I'm coming, Rebecca! I'm here! Get off me, you little... just right there. Why don't you just be like, here, take my hand. Logic. Unless it's in, back in the previous room. Let's forget this part.
guess I'll take the handgun ammo. Rescue her. And there's literally nothing in this room. Christ. What though? I don't have any items that can help out. Ironically, there's ropes in this room and yet you can't use it? Am I missing something? I swear I am missing something. Oh my god. It appears as it's used as a message board. You think? Makes much more sense for her to uh, climb. I mean, was there? I swear to God, if there was an item in a room I miss, I'm gonna be so PO'd. Oh, for God's sakes. Swear to God, there's an item I'm missing. I need to save her with a rope, a chain, or a chain rope, or something. God, I don't remember. Unless it was back in that previous room. Get off me, little. I swear to God, uh, there was a rope or a chain or something I'm missing. I don't know. in here. And yet, you can't carry it. I'll grab this herb. I almost have to kill all these guys first, which I find kind of ridiculous. And ironically, there's a solid platform down below her, so why doesn't she just climb down very slowly? And Billy would be like, yeah, we'll meet up later. Use the rope. Oh boy, I'm having a hard time remembering this. Ton of rope in here. Oh 
boy. Let's try and remember how to save her. Unless. Unless maybe I gotta go back downstairs? Let her fall and then she'll fall into my arms? That would seem kind of weird, but, uh. Well, it's worth a shot. Pathway opens up, if I'm not mistaken. Shut up! Okay, so no, maybe it's not this way. Wait a minute. That door! Wait a minute! The steam room, of course! No. I can't believe it took that long to figure out. Uh, just, just, just goes to show, it takes a genius to admit that he is an idiot. Oh, I should have thought of that sooner. I don't know what I was thinking. But, like I said, I haven't played this game in a long time, so... Really, what is taking you so long? And you know, by this point, Rebecca's gotta have at least, has gotta have at least bigger muscles by this point, because, I mean, if she's hanging out for this long, this just goes to show she's not a wimp. Get out of here. Too late? I don't believe that. I was too late. Oh, for God's sakes, really? You know what? We're gonna give this one more shot. We're gonna give this one more shot. And this time, we're gonna get it right. Let's continue. There is still evil in this place. Yeah, I know. All right. We're gonna get it right this time. And this time we're not gonna... And this time we're not gonna muck around. All right, we're gonna get it right this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm almost there. I'm glad I could be of service. Time to go inside. And this time, please don't go. This time, don't waste so much time. All right, let's skip this scene here, you know. Let's go back to the generator. Pick up the note. Yeah. If I have to let the stream run a little bit longer, I'll let it. Yeah, yeah, we already know, make it power exactly 70, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Let's get going.
Perfect. Okay, we don't need to see this again. Skip. It just doesn't. Yeah, we don't need to see this because we already saw it once. Okay, this time we're not gonna we're not gonna waste so much time here. We're gonna save Rebecca this time. She's gonna go straight to the boiler room. Out of my way, jerk. We'll be back later. I can't believe I wasted so much time on uh, figuring out how to save her, but I said we're gonna get it right this time. later. Rebecca, I'm coming. Oh, I got one already. Nice. I'm coming, Rebecca. I'm almost there. to cooperate with each other, remember? This is Rebecca, over. Rebecca, this is Enrico. Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over. Rebecca, answer me. No, sir, I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him, over. Rebecca. My first mission, and I've already disobeyed orders. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh well. This is gonna fuck. This is gonna look good on my resume. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. It was around this time last year. Oh good, we got a cutscene. Our unit was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. But the hideout was far away from our entry point. There 
was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Get rid of them! Kill them all! Please, sir! Cease fire immediately! Shut up! Ugh. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. I isn't that right? You don't get it. I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for as long as I can. That's all. All right. Now that we finally got that all straightened up. Oh. going to do it for this session here um thanks everybody for watching i will see you all next time